Alrighty ho everybody, it's me, Mechanic Dave. Look at my funny hat. This is a Cornwell Tools welding mask, which you'll see in a little bit. Came with this little cool Templar style hood from Assassin's Creed. Um, what we're doing today is we're doing the uh, body work for the Mustang. Um, let, me, let, me, let me put a couple of pictures of what we're working with. Not terrible. As, as far as, if you remember a while back, I had an 86 Capri and the floors on that were rotted pretty bad. And there was subframe rot and the uh, K member was rotted and it was way worse. This is so much better. It's just basically the surface plate, nothing super structural. We did find the uh, driver's um, sway bar mount had ripped off. So we're gonna get that back on, get the other piece welded up and get the piece by the brake proportioning valve welded up. So I guess let's oh. get to it. All right, so the welding mask, where the fuck is it? It's outside the car, hang on. Oh my God. Yes, look at that. The Cornwell Tools jacket, the Cornwell Tools hat, and wait till you get a fucking gander at this, ready? Dun, dun, dun. I look like fucking Darth Vader who can weld. So we're gonna get right to it. So I was apparently not recording any of the welding I was doing, but we got the first one done. Not the greatest welds in the world. I don't really give a shit. Um, <laughs> I'll miss putting a little screenshot of people who do give a shit though. Apparently I'm not a good mechanic or a good welder. I know I'm not a good welder, but I am a, a pretty shitty mechanic also, so. But ah, she's not going fucking anywhere, nothing. So that side is complete. We're gonna do the sway bar mount next. And then uh, I'm, I, I, I gotta be careful with the one by the brake proportioning valve because I don't, I don't wanna fuck that up. Small amount of time has passed and now she's back on and wait for it. She ain't going nowhere. Uh, I started a little bit on this one. I just put a couple of tacks just to hold it in place. Um, and I got this big piece of scrap metal right there protecting some wires. Um, I'm gonna try and not do a whole lot right right in this area and right in this area. And by the way, this is uh, our main fuel line, but it's, it's disconnected. So there's absolutely no chance it'll explode. Hopefully we're going to do a big, big line down there. Oh, that's actually pretty fucking strong. I'm, I'm impressed. Get that out of the way. Look at all this room for activities. Am I wrapping my corners right, guys? <laughs> eh, it ain't pretty, but you know what? It's a damn sight better than rust. Stop smoking over there. <sighs> this is a no smoking zone. <sighs> Fuckers. <sighs> I ain't looking too bad. I guess we'll, uh, We'll connect the dots at the bottom and uh, spray her down with some primer. A wise man with a blue 1966 Ford Mustang once told me, Davey, you don't gotta be good at welding, you just gotta be good at grinding. Oh, fuck. Where is it? Well, it only partially looks like clumps of asbestos. But you know what? As long as she passes the fucking test. Had to flip it around for the precision. Oh yeah. No, she ain't fucking going anywhere. Me. 
right. So now what you do is you get the old Craigslist rebuild in a can. And you just give her a little bit. Oh, yeah. There we go. Oh, hang on, I missed the spot. Yeah. We don't want that rusting now, do we? Oh, no. Oh, no, it's not pretty. Oh, no. Oh, no, it's not. He didn't wrap his corners right. Oh, no. Fuck you. It's so nice having a fucking junkyard in your backyard. It makes working on the other garbage much easier. Took a little bit of effort and a little bit of skin, but she's going on there. Turns out there was still fuel in there. That would have sucked to have ignited while we were welding. All right, so now we're working on the clutch. So we have this nice ram, ram clutch here. It's a twin disc. Um, we've got it mostly in. Uh, we're just torquing down the bolts right now. Let's see, we've got a new pilot bearing. No. We got a new one of these. All right, we're getting there. And there's two small ones at the bottom. Look at that. Finally, used for all the old grocery bags. So we've masked off everything I don't want getting painted and we left everything I don't care if it gets white. So we got the, the rust protector and being a Ford, you know we're gonna need it. What a piece of shit cap, come on. Oh my God, what garbage. Oh. Fuck you. All right, so for 270, we're gonna see if we can't uh, make our engine bay just a little bit cleaner. I'm gonna be careful around there. I ran out of trash bags, but I've, I should have some cardboard over here. Yeah. Nope. So we use that to block shit off. It's even been used for painting before. Amazing. So we're gonna get to it. Well, it ain't the prettiest in the world, but it's a damn sight better than what it was. All primer and greasy. Oh, now it's nice and glossy. You don't need to worry about butchering the paint job in your engine bay on your vintage Fox body. Oh, I just shit my pants. Even got the prop rod. Fucking mint. Yeah. Now we just wait for it to dry and we'll peel back everything else. And then we'll slap this puppy in. Ooh, hey, there's my drink. Like I said, it's not perfect, but it's a damn sight better. You can see parts where paint got missed, like there and over here and over there. But 95% is better than 0%. So I'm calling that a victory. Look how sharp that is. Fucking amazing. I'll get in there and just use a marker. So that's going to do it for this episode. Um, we're getting really close. And uh, the good news is the drag strip is open. So we can go anytime as long as it's Friday. And we'll run this thing. But in the next, next time you'll see this car, we're going to put the engine in. And we're going to wire it up. And we're going to try and break in the cam and get the timing all set right. And... Then the next episode, the second next episode, we're going to be taking it for test drives and maybe even do a burnout. I can't wait. 
hoping we're making about 300 horsepower now. We're going to get it dynoed and hopefully that 1415 becomes a 13, I'm going to say 1387. I have no idea mile an hour. Well, 96. If I can break 100 miles an hour, I'll be, I'll be happy. But see you later. Next time, hopefully it runs.